Hi everyone, it's Jack from Trading Matrix here. I hope you are well. This is our trade talk for the 24th of February, last one of the week. Looking at a dollar yen long here, we're taking this on a higher time frame, not just an intraday one. Uh, because we've been focusing on the S&P futures trade, uh, we've traded around the last few days, uh, we haven't done a video on this. Nevertheless, we entered uh, our dollar yen long uh, Wednesday, uh, morning uh, American time, uh, so just after the U.S. cash open, cash equity open, we used our in-house oscillators and bands to frame out this zone in here uh, to enter with a 60 pip stop. That was half the ATR on the time frame we're looking at. Uh, ultimately, we're targeting a move up towards just over 138. Because of the longer term uh, picture in this one, there is plenty of room for this uh, market to run into. We're seeing big divergences on uh, kind of a monthly view. And from a week by week basis, uh, volume has been migrating higher, uh, momentum continuing to move higher, uh, as you can see reflected in the um, uh, the continuous upward movement in this market over the last few weeks. Uh, therefore, uh, ultimately, this is why we've taken the trade. Uh, just to talk to you around some of our trade dynamics, if I zoom in, uh, we entered down here, like I mentioned, at 134.51 it was. We took a peel in here just above 135, the figure, because we felt that the market was uh, looking to consolidate for the rest of the week. Uh, we peeled half our position up in here and re-added it once this uh, momentum and uh, these wicks uh, on these candles calmed down, uh, back down uh, at our point of entry, back at 134.50. Uh, we then uh, covered another half of the full position uh, up just again above 135, the figure in here, because we felt that uh, we were likely to consolidate in. And we also wanted to cover our risk going into the uh, US Core PCE data release. Uh, this is a really important release because uh, Core PCE is the measure of inflation the Fed looks at most closely when making its uh, monetary policy decisions. Uh, it has been printed uh, higher than expected, uh, which is very bullish for the dollar. You may have seen that indices uh, fixed income have sold off pretty aggressively because all else being equal, because of this increased inflationary pressure, we'd expect to be more hawkish than um, had been anticipated beforehand. Uh, very good news for our position, albeit we are still only half long. Uh, ultimately, we are still targeting back above 138. We do, however, foresee next week on Monday a likelihood of a, a retracement lower uh, to back towards our weekly and daily value areas. Uh, so we'll be watching for that and ideally hoping for it uh, so we can re-add to the position. Nevertheless, uh, we are still very well positioned for the continued rally. So up just over one R on this one. And we'll bring you updates next week. Thanks very much for watching. Wishing you a pleasant weekend and see you next week. Cheerio.